How to create amazing selections and shapes in Painter. The key thing is to use this, the selection brush. Select that and then apply. Now you can set it to various sizes. I'm just gonna go with default and you can create all kinds of different designs very rapidly. Something like that. A selection that will be very tricky to create in any other way. So once you've done that, you think, oh, I can save it to the selection portfolio so I can reuse it at a later time. And you can find that in the window menu and go down to media panels and selections. Just go here, right side menu and add selection to portfolio. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but there's a workaround. Luckily, what you can do, you can turn it into a shape. So go to the selection adjuster. You can see there, selection adjuster. Click that. With that selected, then go over to the selection and right click. And there's an option here, convert to shape. You can also save selection as well, but I'm just gonna go convert to shape. And then you've got your shape design. Now it's a bit crude, you can modify it with all the various pen tools, etc. But I'm gonna save this as a selection. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got this design and I can go down here to shape selection. Here's the shape selection. So make certain you select that and you can see the shape here. Well, you can now convert it back into a selection. So you can therefore use it at any later date, this design. So now right click and you've got an option here, convert to selection. So convert to selection. And now you've got your selection again. What you can now do is go back to the selection portfolio and add selection to portfolio. And this time it actually comes up with a prompt and you can save it. So let's just call it shape one or shape two or whatever, or 12, click okay. And now you can see you've got your design there. Any point you can go to select and none. So you've got no selection, but say you want this back, simply double click and you've got your selection back. And you can go through the same process to bring back your shape design, which you can then use obviously in future projects. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Bye.